Listen up. This is combat. You can die in combat. Ah! If you don't want to die, you have to use aggro. This is you. This is your partner. These are enemies. You shoot at them, attract their attention, they're gonna shoot at you, not your partner. Let's say you both shoot at them. If your partner has a bigger gun, the enemy will shoot at him instead of you. This is called aggro. If your partner has all the aggro, you're basically invisible. You can sneak around enemies, do whatever you want. But if you have the aggro, it's like you're glowing red. You even have a field aggro meter. Now go out there and kick some ass! Well, this thing is turning into a real shitstorm. They hired some hotshot mercenary named Philip Clyde to take down Moaline instead of us. This guy's the best of the best, but he's a little unstable. So I want you two to meet him at the old Continental Hotel and make sure he actually takes out Moaline like he's supposed to. Do it yourself if you have to. think he is. Bro, that was so badass. You wish you had skills like that. I'm Corporal Tyson Rios, and this is Private First Class Elliot Salem, Chalk 4 U.S. Army Rangers. Are you Philip Clyde? What the fuck do you think? Bro, we're supposed to help you take out Colonel Mo Ali. First of all, I ain't your bro, bro. Second of all, you don't tell me to wait. I tell you what to do. And last, if you think I need your help with this or anything else, you are a moron. Now that we got that cleared up, why don't you just shut the fuck up and watch a real professional in action? You might learn a thing or two. All right, Professor. Why don't you start by teaching us where Moali was hiding? He's right here, inside the Continental Hotel. Why do you think I had you meet me here? <laughs> well, look who it is. Junior American! You think you own the whole world? That you can go wherever you please, huh? Take what you want! But this is not your country! This is our country! And this is how we say hello in our country! Back to back! Let's waste these- Clyde the Richard Dalton. I've completed the mission. Transfer the second half of my fee into my account. Yeah, they're both here. I'll take them with me to extraction. You two better run. Shit! You okay, man? <laughs> this ain't funny. We could have been chilling. Quit whining and head around the other side of this building. We need to secure the marketplace so Dalton can land the chopper for extraction. Reels to Dalton. The area is secured. Repeat. The area is secured. You can proceed with extraction. Over. Copy that, Rios. I'm on my way. Be there in a second. Over and out. Murray. She'll be handling your missions. You remember Philip Clyde? Listen, I ain't working with that guy ever again. He won't have to. He reports directly to me. Does solo missions for me only. 
In his farewell address to the nation, President Eisenhower left America with a strong warning. Ernest Stockwell, CEO of Security and Strategy Corporation, says that warning was misguided, and our future depends on the private military. To fear the military-industrial complex is to fear progress. Look at the operation in Somalia. 35 U.S. soldiers dead, hundreds wounded. But not a single private contractor was injured in the operation. We outperformed the military and achieved all our objectives flawlessly. Some critics will call this profiteering, but I call it progress. Who? You haven't seen the news, have you? Once again, terrorist attacks. Your plane for Afghanistan leaves at noon. Oh shit! Things are about to get real busy, real fast. So get ready. Tyson, are you listening to me? Yeah. Noon. I'll be there. Okay. Let's run through this one more time. You parachute to the mountaintop helipad, disabling any localized defenses. From here, you'll enter the cave complex at its highest point and work your way down. This used to be a launch site for Russia's M11 missiles. It's been abandoned for 15 years, until two years ago when Mohammed Al-Habib, a leading Al-Qaeda operative, found it. He's been working to make the missiles operational again. The M11 is an intermediate range ballistic missile. I cannot emphasize enough how important it is that they are never launched. First, you'll need to destroy any missiles in the upper region of the cave complex. Then go down to the lower regions, destroy any missiles there, and find Brian Hicks. He's one of ours, sent in to do the same job as you, but he failed. We believe he's still being held captive by Al-Habib. You'll need to bring him back alive. There's also a bonus if you take out Al-Habib. He's extremely dangerous and an expert killer, so be careful. Questions? No, sir. Good. And one more thing. Everything you see or do down there never happened. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Trade Commission has just approved the merger of Security and Strategy Corporation with Black Mountain Industries, creating the largest private military corporation in the world. A controversial move which has some critics worried that SSC has become too powerful. The most important factor for us is the security and safety of this nation and our allies. As always, SSC is here to support yeah. and interact with our So, you two ready to go forces, back to Iraq? And to make sure we all have a bright future. Iraq. I have time for about two questions. I'm sure you've heard about the recent wave of ambushes on U.S. troops. It's a lot of bad press. So, get this. The Army's hired us to carry out a high-priority mission. They think we're better equipped to deal with the potential ambushes than they are. Hey, as long as they're paying, I don't give a shit what they think. <laughs> you got that right! Your mission is simple. Make your approach via hovercraft, landing on this beach. Then cross this bridge to this U.S. Army base. The base is under siege and nearly everyone has been evacuated. There's a U.S. officer there who is vital to the coalition. You need to transport him to the helipad near these warehouses. His name is Lieutenant Colonel Eisenhower. You can review his file here. That's Sam. I can't stress no enough shit. how important it is we'll that he's not out injured. Of trouble. You better, because if there's an ambush... Your orders are to protect him with your life. The road between the rendezvous point and the helipad is crawling with insurgents, all led by Ali Yousef. Remember him? If you manage to take him out, there's going to be a substantial reward waiting for you. But this is only a secondary objective. Protecting Eisenhower is your primary objective. Everything clear? You got it. Good luck, guys.
sorry about the shit I said back there. You guys did a great job today. It's all good, man. It was good to see you again after all these years. Yeah, be safe, bro. You too. We'll grab a beer when this war is over, you son of a bitch. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Rios to Murray. Mission accomplished. Eisenhower's on the chopper. Should we proceed to extraction ourselves or... Holy Good shit! Lord. What? What happened? That's Eisenhower's chopper. Eisenhower's helicopter, it... It just blew up. Shit. I'll call the DOD. Over and out. Janice, this bill will replace our enlisted force with a profit-driven army. It's completely absurd. Is this true, Senator? Your bill would privatize the military? What Senator Whitehorse seems to be forgetting is that our enlisted forces just lost an aircraft carrier to terrorists. And that's not to mention all of the recent ambushes and unnecessary casualties. You see, war isn't what it used to be. The rules of engagement don't apply anymore. Time and time again, we've seen that private corporations are better and more adept at handling this kind of threat. To put it simply, if the military isn't able to take care of business, we need someone who is. I talked to Section 8 and he thinks someone is leaking U.S. troop positions to our enemies. You gotta chill on the conspiracy theories, man. Well, he thinks it's coming from inside SSC. Must be the Illuminati. Abort, boys, abort. Make your way to the evac point now. A chopper's on the way. You've been reassigned to a new mission. This is a big one. We've found the constellation 200 miles west of Manila Bay. The Philippine government thinks their navy can handle it, but the DOD thinks differently, which is why they've hired us. Your mission is to take control of the ship from the terrorist hijackers. You'll parachute onto the carrier. Philip Clyde will be with you. What the? Clyde? Hell no! We're not working with him anymore! Hey, Dalton says it's a three-man job. You don't have a choice. You guys should touch down near the rear of the carrier, then make your way up to the control tower. These terrorists are with Abu Sayyaf, one of the most powerful terror organizations in the world. We don't know what their plans are, but as long as you two do your job, we'll never have to find out. Everything clear? Yeah, we got it. We're on our way! Yeah. All right, I'll contact you as soon as we have more details. Over and out. You're fucking dead! Shoot, buckos! I ain't carrying your corpses back to Dalton. Look, we ain't any happier to be doing this with you than you are to be doing it with us. So let's just stay out of each other's hair and get this thing done. No problem, fucko. Fucko? Who says that? You all right, sir? Uh, I'll be all right, but we got a real situation here. This ship's loaded up with stolen nuclear warheads. They're controlling the ship and they've booby-trapped the engine room. Try and get in there, and she'll blow quicker than a Thai hooker. And we're on a collision course for downtown Manila. You've got to be shitting me. I'm a Navy captain. Bullshitting ain't in my job description. Now listen. The Navy SEALs are on their way, but we can't wait. I need you to help me bring this ship to the bottom before she reaches Manila. Of course. We'll do it. Good. Now take the elevators down to Hangar B. Pass through that hangar to Hangar C. I'll give you further instructions over the radio. And, uh, good luck. Seems like today, luck just ain't in our job description. I don't know if we can go back to SSC now. We don't know if Clyde is operating alone, and if he's not, they know we know. Would you quit this shit already? I'm sure Clyde was just trying to make a few extra bucks. It's not some grand conspiracy. I don't know, man. I just don't know.
here was sunk by private military contractors. The very same private contractors you put in power with your bill to privatize the military. You want to replace a military which has safeguarded our country for 240 years with corporations who profit from war. Richard, you know as well as I do that it's not about what I want. Elliot, where the hell are you? It's about what the American Hello, people want. Hello, are you want. listening to me? Can I help? Call you right back. The American people want to end this war. It's about time you got here. And when they go to the polls this November, they'll vote for the only military that can do that. The private military. Senator Whitehorse, this bill will pass. Over my dead body, it will. I I'm sorry, we need to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back with Senators Richter and Whitehorse debating the bill to privatize... Murray wants us to do another mission. What? You said you wouldn't talk to her till we figured out if she's working with Clyde, making troop positions. It's Murray, man. We can trust her. Besides, we already agreed we're gonna quit and go public with the evidence. What does it matter if we do one last mission? Come on, man. I can really use the cash. All right, Alice. When you go. You'll be heading to China. Sibu Mohammed is the terrorist mastermind who orchestrated the capture of the USS Constellation. He's the head of Abu Sayyaf and one of the most wanted men in the world. He's staying at the Jiangmin Hotel in the cliffs overlooking the Lijiang River. He's extremely well guarded, so you won't be able to get close to him. He's dead. Your instructions are to destroy this bridge as his convoy passes over it in the morning. If Muhammad's bodyguards pursue you, head down river and radio for extraction once you've lost them. Everything clear? Yep. Yeah. What the hell are you guys doing in South Korea anyway? Just helping out an old friend. Hey, let's get out of here! What the fuck are we gonna do now? Head back to Miami. We gotta rescue Murray. Okay, let's do it. SSC are doing everything in our power to find whoever is responsible for this tragic incident and bring them to justice. We owe you one, man. Just take care of my pilot. And bring my plane back in one piece. We'll land at Marathon Airport and head straight for SSC Island. My guess is Dalton's gonna be up on the executive floor. We need to keep him from reaching the helipad on the roof. I just hope that hurricane doesn't hit. When we come back, they're saying this could be bigger than Katrina. Hurricane? A Category 5 hurricane headed straight for South Florida. Still we'll no response. No, sir. Not since they refueled in Mexico. Scramble two of our birds and keep them out of the path of that storm. Unidentified aircraft. Change course to 0790. We will escort you to landing. Do you copy? Yo, Ellie. Check this out. It's over your head. Alpha Starlink to Homestead. No response. It looks like the pilot's dead. Do you copy? We don't want another 911. Bring her down over the ocean. Copy that, Homestead. Over. You know, you two really piss me off. I swear to God, if Dalton didn't have such a hard-on for the both of you, I'd have killed you a long time ago. What's the status? Starboard engines out, sir. But I'm seeing what looks like gunfire in the passenger cabin. Please advise. What's their heading? Still on course for downtown Miami. If they make it through the hurricane. We gotta get out of here. Take them down and get the hell out of there.
They'll drop us off near HQ, then take you to the hospital. Near? Let's land on the roof. This is Chaman Su's chopper. I ain't taking that chance. If you don't get Dalton, he's gonna come after me. Don't worry, we'll get him. And don't let him kill Stockwell. Security and Strategy Corporation Ernest Stockwell was released from prison today after serving three months of his six-month sentence. This has caused controversy with some saying the Department of Justice was already too lenient on Stockwell, whose company was involved in last summer's massive privatization scandal and was implicated in the deaths of Alaskan Senator Richard Whitehorse and countless U.S. servicemen Hello? in Iraq. Where the hell are you? I've been trying to reach you for days. Uh, what? Rios? Yeah, huh, listen. Me and Elliot started our own firm, Trans World Operations. So, we need a good contract filing. You available? <laughs> Wait, you guys? Started a PMC? Where'd you find investors for that? You know, we have our sources. Anyway, I got a jump. So how about it? You in? Thank you. 